going to make a different core than I normally do. It's two strands, both of them, 11 inches, or 27.94 centimeters. Put it through. Put it through. Sorry, missed the camera. Anyway, put it through. And the other one is back the same way. Now, it's different, it's different than what I normally do it. But right here I just want it like that because I can be able to isolate my colors. Alright. The base is black. Uh, 72 inches, 182.88 centimeters. All the weave is red, white, and blue. All three are 60 inches long, 152.4 centimeters. We're going to be using the presser, the lighter, and a pair of scissors. And Let's do it. We need a thinner. Get up from the bottom. And I need to Okay. 
of the base, underneath, in the middle, and there's only two strands between one and two. Black from the left side, over this black, up from the bottom, in between one and two, and then down through the loop. Alright, there we go. Now, this is easy, but it just looks daunting. It's not as hard as it looks. Okay, red on the outside, down, under, dyed on this side, and on the other side. And do the exact same thing on the white and on the blue, and it's going to go all the way down. Alright, white, down. In between one and two. Right side comes up on the right side of it. Left side comes up on the left side of it. And this will be every time, every knot, both red, white, and the blue. Now the blue, over. The right side comes up on the right side. Do the loop. Left comes on the left side of it. Do the loop. Now, take the black, cinch it up, and tighten. And don't be afraid to tighten it up. Okay, that is your first knot, and every single knot gone down is exactly the same. So I'll do it again. The black from the right side, underneath everything, up in between, one and two, in the middle. Black from the left side, goes over the other black. Underneath, comes up between, one and two, in the middle and goes through the loop on the right side. Now we take the red, goes down across, stays on the left side, and right side strand comes up to the loop on the right side. Left side strand comes up to the loop on the left side. The middle white stays in the middle in between one and two and down the right side comes up on the right side of the white still in between one and two white on the left side comes right up to on the left side blue on the right side of number two, goes down. The right side comes up under and up through the loop on the right side of it. Left, stays on the left side, comes up on the left side to the loop. Black wood, cinch it up, tighten. You do want to make this kind of tight.
rub it. And again. Up on the bottom. In between. One two. Over. Under. Up through. In between. One two. Down to the loop. On the right side. The red goes down. It's on the left side of number one. Now, coming up to the loop on the left side. The right side red comes up. On the right side red. And the left side comes up on the left side. On the white. Down in between. One and two. So the right side comes up on the right side of it. With the one and two. Left side comes up on the left side. Blue on the right side. This is on the right side. Right goes on the right side. Left goes on the left side. And take the black, tighten it up, cinch it. Tight. And the red, tighten it up. And you can tighten it in any order you want. But it's, I prefer to go there. But it does help to hold your hands right here on your pole. And if you're doing this one without a jig, good luck there. Alright, you've seen the weave. Gonna do a little bit more, then we're gonna go to the end.